What's up, YouTube? So obviously what we got today is a very dirty car. I spent the morning pulling it off and getting dirty. So today we're going to break this thing down, kind of take a look and see how dirty it is, and give it an ultrasonic bath in my Sweet Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner. So uh, tested this thing out last night on a uh, different carb I had, trying to figure out the best uh, cleaning solution for it. And it's soap and water, I think, is what we're going to end up going with. Anyway, so let's pull this thing apart. We'll go and dip it and see how clean we can make it. Uh, we'll probably mess around with the jetting. Lastly, we're going to throw this thing in and see if we can fire this pig up. Bear with me, and let's clean this thing up. So I think it's important when you're doing this to uh, have a nice clean working area, have something to sit everything on. We don't want these screws and jets and whatnot rolling off our hard surface that would be underneath this towel. And when we're pulling this apart, we'll be very careful that we don't damage the float or any other internals inside of this. So, so we have the valve seat, which is this whole thing, and then the jet is actually right here, and it should pop out of there. I have to grab a smaller socket to do that. We'll do that too. Flat edge screwdriver, pilot jet. Normally these are small, and these are the things that end up getting clogged up really bad uh, as the bike sits. So I'm going to see if I can see some light through it. I'm going to blow through it. See if I see light. And I do not see a bit of light coming through this thing. It is definitely plugged up, which I expected. So let's look at this main jet. Blow it out. I do have light through that, so that one's definitely clean. Floats seem to be in operating condition. So we're going to take the float off. And then your float valve is underneath that. We'll check that out. But all these are the little parts that we're pulling out of here are going to go into this ultrasonic bath anyway. And we're probably going to change the jets as well. This is a 45 Pilot, which is pretty big I think actually I have to look at the uh, specs so we just push this little pin out like that use something small to get in there Oops. put that to the side your float will come off make sure you put that down Okay, there's no valve under here. Uh, oh, no. So your float needle is this thing right here. It hangs right underneath this little guy. And as the float level increases or decreases, it closes the valve off to allow more or less gas in to fill the float, which is this little guy. So we're going to pull all these little hoses and junk off. We'll clean those by hand. The, uh, I don't think the ultrasonic cleaner bath is going to do anything for those. Come off, baby. There we go. So we'll kind of just visually inspect this thing and you kind of want to be able to see light through a lot of these uh, little jets and whatnot. Uh, it's pretty filthy inside. I mean, not super bad. I really kind of expected it to be a little more gummed up. If you can see in there, you have a little bit of uh, 
gelatinous gasoline, but really it doesn't look that bad. So, um, so what we'll do, I guess, is we can put all of these little parts, rubber parts, seals, yada, 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 inside of here, and it won't cause any damage to those parts. So really, we don't have to worry too much. Whereas maybe some cleaners might be corrosive to seals and stuff. We're just going to use soapy water to clean this. Because it's aluminum's funny in that there's a lot of chemicals out there. Simple Green actually being one of them that's corrosive to aluminum. Uh, and we don't want to leave this in too long. What will happen is it will discolor the carb or even dye it a different color. which I've seen them in other videos come out black. And we don't want to do that. So, let's go ahead and we're going to take our little parts here. We're going to throw them in our ultrasonic bath after we mix up a solution. Alright, see you in a few. And we're back. Had a little uh, battery issue there. So, there's a few more things we could pull out of this carb. Uh, we have an air mixture screw that we could take out. Now what you can do is... If your carb's running great already, you don't want to dick around with the um, air mixture screw, you can turn it all the way in and count, and, and then you'll know how far you got to turn it back out when we put it back together. So for mine, it's one, one and a half turns for the idle mixture, or for the air mixture screw. So we can go ahead, now that we know that well, it's one and a half turns out when we put it back together, we'll take that screw. Idle, excuse me, air screw mixture out because we can clean this and and the little uh, seat that it sits in. Why not, right? And then the idle screw, we could do the same thing. So mine is one, two. It's about one and three quarters. Well, about two until it starts getting hard. Two and a half until I really don't want to do it anymore. And when we get it back on the bike, we can adjust all that. Now, really, there's really no point to cleaning this thing. It's plastic. All it does is move your slide up or down to adjust idle. But we'll take it out anyway just to clean everything. And our choke, we're just going to leave that on there and just clean it like that. And so I've already taken our ultrasonic cleaner, turned it on, ran it a few times to get the water hot. You really want to have hot water when you do this. Um, if you start out with really hot water, it speeds up your process a lot. Otherwise, this thing takes a long time to heat the water up itself if you were to put cold water in there. We're going to start putting our parts in here and we're just going to dump them in. Um, anything that we feel like we want to wash with this thing. Springs and stuff, not that important. Uh, your float and your float valve, not really that important. You can just wipe that stuff down. I'm actually going to throw our uh, whatever, pipe holder, whatever they're called, in as well. And just to clean them up because they're super filthy. Um, so let's just start putting stuff in. Doesn't matter where it's at. Whew. That water's hot. Put a bowl in. And most of our little pieces parts, you can just drop in. I took the slide off when the uh, battery died. So we got that. We're not worried about our needle that goes in there. We could just wipe that down. So air mix screw. Main valve seat. And so our pilot jet's in there, even though we're not going to use it again. I'm going to throw these rings in there that hold the carburetor onto the boot. Throw that junk in. This is the top to our slide. We're going to throw that in too. And our float nut. So we'll go ahead and crank this thing on. So you can set this for 480 seconds, which is, you do the math. Divide that by 60, multiply it, blah, 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 blah. About eight minutes, I think. So we're gonna set that, we're gonna turn that on and we're gonna watch this, in fact, I'm gonna leave the lid off so that we could watch this thing get gross. 
and we'll probably run it through this we'll probably do it a few times just to clean all the junk off and here we go we'll be back Hey guys, uh, bad news. Looks like this video is running really long and I don't want to hit the 40 minute mark. So we're going to uh, break this up into two different parts. Uh, when we pick back up, it'll be me trying to get this stupid thing out of this bath, uh, burning my hands, uh, potentially cleaning this thing, run, running it through the bath again, putting the car together, getting it in the bike, and hopefully this thing starts first kick. And when it does, if it does, I hope you're there with me when it happens. So, again, I appreciate you coming out and watching, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Part 2, carb rebuild on the 85SX. Thanks, guys. I love you, and we'll see you soon.